Hey guys, today is a good day because we are installing our bed frame. That'll be about the only thing we have in our van when we move into it full time here pretty soon. Ricky will show you exactly uh, how we're gonna start doing that right now. <laughs> right now. First things first, our bed support. We're using these little U-channels for your, your two by four to sit in and, and have support. Typically you'll use them for like building a deck or something just to have some extra support. They come in this silver galvanized. We're actually in the process of getting them spray painted. We just spray painted them white so they look nice and pretty. They are going to be mounted in their dedicated locations on our floating bed supports uh, going along the sides of the van. And with this little sample piece of wood, you'll see they just hold up just like that. And obviously once this is painted and once these are painted, it'll look a lot, a lot more finished. We're going to have about four of these going across just to have some extra support. And then we're going to use some one by threes as slats for the bed. And that'll, that's the gist of our bed support. Okay, so we started spray painting our mounts while those are drying. We just need to measure out the length of each point that we are going to have a support. We are going very careful with our measurements. So each place there's a support beam, we're going to re-measure that distance. We got our first uh, the rear support beam cut. It's actually cut perfectly just enough to where it'll sit here snugly without moving. Obviously we're going to put these brackets on here and we had to line it up perfectly so that way because these kind of come out so that way these don't stick off the side of the board. So this is going to sit about here. We're going to have to obviously still paint this one. This is kind of our guide for now but here it sits on there perfectly. Same with over here and then we're using our support beam going along the side of the van as kind of like the vertical point. We know these two distances are like darn near perfect uh, in line with each other. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do three more, get them mounted, and then do some slats. that'll go across the bed uh, cut. They're gonna look like this. Once we put the brackets up, we're still waiting on our brackets to dry. They look so much better than the way they came. And now we are cutting our struts. They will each be 54 inches wide, which is the size of our full size mattress. Okay, we've got all 10 of our slats cut out that we're using across the bed. And these are still a little sticky, but we think it might just be because it's super hot today and they're not able to like dry fully, but we're just gonna put them up anyways. They look really good, so let's go. Just a reminder, we decided to do our beams vertical. Some people like to put them like horizontal or like or the, the flat way going across. And me, I'm not, not a small guy and I would just like this to be very sturdy. So uh, obviously wood is stronger in this vertical orientation rather than horizontal. Okay, so we got three of our beams up. Just a heads up, the gap between these two beams is greater than this gap and then what our final beam will be. But that's just so that away, this looks like a rat's nest right now. We're gonna clean this up. We still have some, uh, some extra stuff to, to hook up. But just so that away, this area is accessible. So we can lift the mattress up and we're just gonna have some sort of panel right here we can lift up 
to be able to see the the innards of this and then from the garage we'll be able to see all of um you know all of our fuses and everything from here as well so this will be accessible all the time this will be accessible when we lift up the mattress and that panel we were going to use these brackets on all four uh struts but on this last one that bracket would impede on our plywood wall divider that we're gonna have dividing our bed from the uh, rest of the living space. So instead we are going to go with pocket hole screws and just pocket jig that right into there. That way we can bump up a piece of plywood right up to it. Okay, so normally with pocket holes, I would just be safe using two. But because this is going to be a bed support and it's going to be holding a decent amount of weight, um, I wanted to do two on one side near the, the outer limits and then also one on the opposing side to just kind of give like a nice, um, I don't even know what you want to call that, but nice layered screw support. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but opposite. Okay, now that we got all of our support beams going across from the bed, we got our slats lined out, we had them all cut earlier obviously, and kind of roughly placed where they're going to go now. Each slat we have, we have 10 slats, and just with the remainder of space we have left, it'll be about four inches in between each slat to give a, a nice space out between all of them. Just to do that, we're gonna start off with uh, pre-drilling our slats, so that way they do not, they're, so they're less likely to split, still no guarantees. Um, and then we're just going to use these one inch wood screws to go into the support beam. Okay, so now that we got our bed structure finished, we need to just cut out the piece of plywood to to cover the uh, removable area for the battery bank. And then we're going to do the, the face covering of this bed to divide the garage area from the living area. So those two pieces of plywood are what we're cutting next. We have the face of our bed cut out. As you can see it barely comes up over these slats. So we're gonna definitely need that, uh, the extra, the counters will come up to what we marked. I think we marked it right here. Counters are gonna come up to here. So that will make sure our mattress doesn't slide out about right there. But as you can see, it's actually a pretty nice fit. Now that we have this here, you know, our kitchen galley and everything's gonna be on this side, vanity and couch is gonna be on this side. So we're gonna have to kind of like uh, soft place, place those so we know exactly where they'll sit. And then right here in this middle area, we're gonna have a little cutout. And then the way we are mounting this, we are screwing it from this end into this uh, two, by four. two by four that we have for the bed. And then on the inside of this, from the garage side, we're going to have behind the opening right here, there will be two by twos going up. Yeah, to kind of frame it. Okay, next day, we are just starting by finishing the divider between our bed and our living space. We just put the board up in the van and just kind of eyeballed where the opening would look best. And then we got some hard measurements after we took it out of the van. Now Ricky's just measuring it out and then we will cut it with the circular saw. seems to be correct in how we wanted it to be. Time to add some support. Okay, so we have our framing support. It's just kind of loosely fitted in here. Kind of just, just barely sitting in there. This is how it's gonna look. I just wanted to give a little idea before I started putting anything together. Nothing crazy, but just enough to, to make sure that um, the face of the bed doesn't, you know, go invert outvert. Those are gonna be screwed into the subfloor and I'm going to pocket jig all these together 
and then get the holes ready for those to be pocket jigged up into the two by four. Same with the corner ones. And then um, we're gonna find exactly that right spot where the face of the bed needs to go so it's not angled or anything. And then we're gonna get it all, get it all screwed in. Remove the loose pieces, got them pocket, pocket hold. This is the generic shape that it's gonna be. Pocket hold of this, pocket hold of that, and then the top of those are gonna go into the two by four. Um, so we're just gonna start throwing some wood glue on here so we can double, double seal, make sure these puppies are strong. that into the subfloor. All right, so now that we got the um, supports and uh, braces done, time to get this the face of the bed glued and nailed to the actual front of the bed. Run away, get away, get away now Too many games and they all trying to play out Too many people and they all start to change now Let me take a bet, they gon' know my name now Yeah, we came a long way, but it's one way Got a long way to go like it's Monday Someday, gotta be in LA Know I gotta make it work out like